Okay, so here's something that you might not have noticed uh, regarding the sequence of the Cabassia poems, as well as the rest of the artifacts you actually collect in the game. So I have everything collected, so I'm just going to go and head into Sindri's house here. Now, you can see a bookshelf in the corner, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we're going to go look at the workshop over here to the left. And if you look along this left wall, you can actually see all of the artifacts that are physically represented in the game. Uh, these are the ones that you collect throughout the story, uh, throughout the world. And so I'm going to quickly go through these. Uh, I'm going to overlay the info from the journal in the edit. Um, I'll try to highlight them maybe because some of them are pretty tucked away here. Um, like you see those all tucked at the back and we haven't really got a photo mode at the moment. Uh, so I can't give a better look, but I'll try my best. Uh, I've also noticed that there is an empty space there. And I've collected all the artifacts. I've got the trophy for it, so that's curious. Um, this is most of them. There are some artifacts over on the bookshelf with the classic poems. Um, but there's still the empty space there. I wonder if that was planned for something else. Okay. So we'll get into it. So starting from the left, here we have the things that were left behind. Um, so you have, I'm going to try the pronunciation of these, but forgive me. Uh, Hrizma's brazard, uh, or brazard. Uh, that's, a brazard is like um, an armband often found on military uniforms. Uh, you have Greep's firebomb. You have uh, Bari's grenade. Uh, Liebtheed's whetstone, uh, Alfhoff's statue, and then Durin's stone statue. And then just to the right of those, we got onto the family crests. So we have Honia's crest. You've got Odin's crest over there. Uh, Skirnir's crest. Freya's crest. And then Cavassiers and Healy's. Um, I'll try and leave those things on screen um, and I'll show all the text. So if you want to read further, you can pause the video and do that. And then over there, we have the tributes to Freya. Uh, so we have a dream charm, horn, a token, a harp. Pipe, and finally a bracelet. And then right tucked in the back, we have, I'll try to see if we get a better look at what I can. Uh, we have stolen treasures. They allude to other cultures and pantheons right back there. Um, potentially clues where games could go. Obviously they do exist in this world. Uh, so we have an anchor, a keeler, Jambaya, Maya, I think that's just realistically the artifact it comes from rather than the artifact itself, uh, the culture it comes from, sorry, Furt, and then we have a lyre, which is a Greek instrument that Kratos says he knows how to play, but he refuses to demonstrate that from me. Okay, so that does it for this corner. Before we move on to the other side, uh, if you think this video deserves it, dropping a like would be super helpful and appreciated. I've actually got a few interesting things coming up, um, including I've got a little clarification on the backstory of the mask, uh, where I reached out to one of the writers and got a little clarification on that. Uh, something I don't think is spoken about or noticed in the game. Um, so you, you can subscribe for that. Uh, I'm also exploring the idea of making some stuff on the lore behind God of War and where it connects to various other myths, um, where it's connected and where it deviates. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. I will eventually be uploading some other games and some goofy stuff. I kind of have eclectic interests. Um, so if you just let me know the kinds of things you're interested in, kinds of games you play, things you're looking forward to, um, and give thumbs up to the comments that you agree with, and I can read the room there and see what people might be interested in for the future. Um, so back to the point of this video, the Cavassia poems and the last few artifacts. So I'm just going to head over to that bookshelf now. 
So we'll start along the bottom with the final of these artifacts. So along the bottom there, you can see spirit mementos. Uh, these you get in the crater area of Anaheim. Uh, they come in two parts and the spirits reveal what they remember about an interesting backstory when you combine them. Um, I won't get into that backstory here. Uh, I could upload a compilation of the story. Uh, I do actually have the clips if people want it. Um, so we have the brooch, the scroll, the stein, the hourglass, and the child's toy. Now, onto the Cavassier poems. Now, this might be obvious to, to some, especially if you took the time to actually read them and look at their covers. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't at first. I read them later. Uh, but they're all Easter eggs to other properties. Um, I was able to get most of these myself, but I did have to look up a couple of them because they were a, bit, a little bit out of my radar. Um, so let's have a look at these, shall we? Um, I'm just going to move the screen so they're better on screen, and then I'm going to change over to the journal so I can read through these better. Um, but I'll change that in the edit bit. Okay, so starting off from the top left, uh, we have the Sunrise of Nothingness. So that's Horizon Zero Dawn. So the titles are clues as well, as the symbol is a triangle motif that shows up in the game. Um, you've got, obviously, that squeak through the air, creatures of metal. It references quite obviously there. Um, next one we have Large Society Ground Orb, The Performance. So, and it's got a big baseball on the cover. So that's MLB The Show. Um, next we have uh, Tool and Bang, Ratchet and Clank. Pretty clear. Um, I think that's easily one of the more obvious ones. Again, I'll leave these on screen if you want to read the actual poem. Uh, then we have those, who, uh, We Who Remain, sorry. We Who Remain, part the second. Uh, so that's The Last of Us, I suppose, specifically Last of Us Part 2. Uh, you actually have the moth, um, that kind of is a motif in the game on the cover there. Um, next, I have to scroll down in my thing here. There you go, we have uh, Sanguinity, uh, or Sanguinity. Uh, that's Bloodborne, so Sanguinity usually relates to bloodthirstiness, and there's a few different definitions that relate to Sanguine, um, even getting flushed. Um, but that's Bloodborne there and you've got the symbol from the game there as well on the cover uh, next it's kind of hard to see the symbol on the front uh, but that's um, upon, uh, upon pursuing a place not marked on maps that's Uncharted I love the Uncharted series that's all there I should scroll through that so you can read all the poem then we have this one, I think, is another pretty obvious one. We have East Inspector. So that's uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, the next one is an organisation in the future. So The Order, 1886. I think that's a pretty funny one, considering 1886, obviously in the past for us, but when this game is set, it's obviously way in the past. So 1886 is in the future for them. Or for Cavastia. Um Then we have... There we go. Afterlife Abandonment. So that's Death Stranding. Oh, sorry, I've missed one here. Sorry, I just noticed someone else. Where is it on my little notes here? There it is. Spirits Within the Walls. So that's Concrete Genie. I'll be honest. I'm not familiar with Concrete Genie. I had to look that one up. So, yeah, so sorry, I spoiled the next one already. That's Death Stranding. You see, you've got the map of the US, or I don't think it's technically the US anymore um, in the game, but that's Death Stranding. Baby Crying, you remember that that uh, trailer? The Rita's Fetus. Um, uh, then we have Dreams. Uh, another one, I had to look that one up. Um, but I was once I looked it up, I was aware. I do know about the game. It's just I couldn't figure that one out on my own. Um, and you got the character on the cover there. Then we have Days Gone. So that's the Motorcycle Club logo on the cover. Um, and then the last couple here 
we have Astrobot, so that celestial construct. Oh, I didn't talk about the names, did I? So, actually, I was going to do this one take, but So, I'll go with Astrobot, I'll go to, uh, back to the others. So, you have celestial construct. Uh, that's Astrobot. Pretty obvious clue. Also, the first game I played as soon as I got my PlayStation. Um, it's a great game. If you have if you've got a PlayStation Five, it comes free with it, and you haven't bothered playing Astrobot, do it. It's pretty fun. It's a good uh, demonstration of the controller as well. But it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, and then I'll just do the last one. I'll go back to anything I missed. Uh, so the last one is Journey. So what's that title on there? Sorry, I'm dripping over my notes in this journal. Uh, so it's just called Trip. That's Journey. I think that's an obvious one if you've seen it, just because it's the silhouette of the character on the cover there. Now, what ones do I miss? Concrete Genie. Uh, is Spirits Within the Walls. So most of the others, their title is pretty obvious to what they were, right? So like Visions at Rest, I didn't mention that title either, I don't think. Dreams, makes sense. Visions at Rest, Afterlife Abandonment, Death Stranding. That they all make sense. I don't. I don't think that one does. Um, Concrete Gen- Genie. Uh, spirits within these walls. I suppose if you swap it around, yeah, I guess you, a genie is a spirit. Concrete is walls are often made of concrete. Ah, I okay. Fair enough. I guess you can make that work. It's more of a push than the rest of them to me. Um, but that should sum up all of our poems there. Um, did you notice these? Uh, had you picked up on that? Um, let me know. And did you notice anything about the artefacts? Again, I've got a few things coming up. Let me know what you're interested in. Drop a like and subscribe if you're interested. Uh, and I don't know. You'll see more from me shortly. Peace.